Hi Calvary, it's Pastor Chad here and I wanted to share with you an update about what we're doing at the, after the latest news uh, about the pandemic. By now you've probably heard that Governor Ducey announced a um, kind of a moderated shutdown for 30 days where he's closing, asking some businesses to close and uh, asking people to do increased social distancing. Uh, and we as the leaders here at Calvary have decided to uh, comply, decided to go along with their request for gatherings of no more than 50 people. And so we've decided to suspend our in-person worship services at the Sweetwater campus for the next 30 days. Uh, we realize that we don't have to do this. Uh, we have a constitutional right to gather and, and the governor recognized that. But we want to be good neighbors. We want to protect the health of ourselves, of the congregation, of the community. And, uh, and so we've decided that even though we have the right to gather, it's not wise to do so right now. So we're going to ask that you join us online because we're going to continue our online campus, our online worship services at the usual times, Saturday at 5, Sundays at 8, 9, 30, and 11. And join us as we continue to celebrate Jesus and life change. Now, uh, again, Hopefully, prayerfully, this is only 30 days and we'll be back meeting again together soon. But in the meantime, I want to remind you that God is still in control. God, God is at work in this world. Uh, we've seen evidence of that firsthand. Just this last Sunday, we baptized 46 people proclaiming to the world that they are unashamed followers of Jesus Christ. And, and we're still celebrating that even while we're uh, uh, kind of disappointed in this news that we will not be able to gather together on this weekend and celebrate our freedom as a nation. That said, uh, we know that uh, God is at work in your life and in my life and in the life of this community. So my prayer for you is this, that during this time you would continue to pray for each other, that you would continue to pray for our communities and for our nation because it really needs it. And you would pray that God would help you and me to be the salt and light that he's called us to be. That, that we would continue to love people and lead them to that life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ in Parker and Lake Havasu and to the ends of the earth. God bless Calvary and hopefully we'll see you in about a month.